What's up guys, Pokelander here and today we'll be opening up Shrouded Fable, the new ETB that just been released versus I guess the OG Scarlet and Violet set. Um, the first ETB of the new generation to the latest. Uh, let's see which one has the better hits. Uh, yeah, let's just start ripping. Alright, well here are the two ETBs right here. Um, the latest and greatest Shrouded Fable versus the OG Scarlet and Violet. Um, yeah, they're both kind of purple-ish. -ish. Uh, well, obviously they do have purple, but they're different. And uh, yeah, let's just start off with the newest ETB first. Let's just open this real quick. There it is. Normal book. Normal pretty much everything. This is a specialty set, but it is there isn't too much difference. Um, but nine packs like normal. There it is. Some really nice dividers, I will say. Not going to lie, they're pretty clean. Code card for the first ETB. I will say the sleeves are actually pretty good. They're the glossy black clear um, or the non-glossy. They have they're just clear with the back the black mag ground sleeves. Um, so if you do want sleeves and you like these Pokemon, this ETB is definitely worth it. And just a regular Petrant promo. Pretty freaking nice, I will say. And going back in time with the Scarlet and Violet base scent ETB. Same thing, just a regular booklet. Nine packs like normal. The Maridon illustration rare promo. Uh, let me know which one you think is better. Um, I do like Maridon a little bit better. This Maridon illustration rare is fantastic. Petrian's pretty nice, I will say. Both have purplish hues, um, but that moon background with, I guess, the city looks fantastic. Well, let me know which one you think is better. Uh, I'm going for I'm going with Maridon. Good for the second ETB. These things are pretty nice too. I do like the red ones a little bit more. Uh, and there's gold. There's this one. These aren't as good as the other ones. So there it is. I will say these dividers are killer though. Alright, enough of that. Just straight into the packs. We'll be doing 1v1. Um, let's start off with the OG though. Let's go back in time with Scarlet Island base with the three, the, the three starters. Let's see if we can pull uh, the Maridon illustri special illustration rare would be nice. Um, but. The Miriam, we still want that Miriam. I've never pulled it, though I did just recently pull the full art. Um, but I will say the hit rate in these OG sets are a little bit easier than the newest sets. So maybe this won't even be a comparison, but I will say um, Shrouded Fable has been really good to me. And starting off with the first illustration rare. Oh, what is this? A squirrel But I guess the squirrel. I, I couldn't tell what it was. I couldn't, I couldn't see it. Um, our first hit, first pack magic with there with the um, base set right there. Pretty nice. Another illustration rare that I have never pulled from this set. I say it every time. This is probably my least open set. Oh, it's kind of not the least open set anymore. It's kind of catching up because I've opened a lot of ETBs of Scarlet and Violet base. The only reason why I ever really opened this set is because it's so cheap. Next pack though, Shrouded Fable, the newest, the newest set, the newest specialty set. In the future, I probably will be doing. I mean, I already kind of did it. 151 versus Scarlet, or I mean, Shattered Fable. And maybe I'll do an ETV battle in the future. The Houndor, Varum, Toxic Croak, Decidueye, Kirum. Oh, starting off the first A spec, maybe a double banger. Really unlikely. And yeah, that really unlikely to get a double banger. But starting off with the neutralization zone, uh, and a hit for hit, back to back. Pretty freaking nice. Both of them are pretty rare, I guess. A specs are kind of rare. I think it's like 1 in 16, while illustration rares are 1 in 12. Um, but so far, so good. We all know illustration rares are a little bit better, though. Um, but next pack, going back to base. Let's see what we can pull from here. Hopefully, we can get an SAR and, and at least one of them. But Sangus, Krogunk. Come on. Ah, oh, that was this. Hair cross again. Okay, nothing there. Not even a regular. Oh, but that's Skeletor. Really nice holo right there. I will say. All right, going back. Come on. We just need that. Uh, what's her name? Cassiopeia, I believe. That's all we need. That Cassiopeia il uh, SIR or the Houndoom illustration rare. Those are the, literally the last two cards I actually really want from this set. There's the Houndoom. Though we do want the Duskull, but that's not really a need. But Genesect. Come on. Ah, oh, nothing there. All right, all right. Whatever. All right, going back. The base sets. Come on, give us the luck. 
The first two packs have been pulled, but it, 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 we, we kind of striking. Let's bring the luck back. Shuppet, Spirigito, Houndor, Drifloom, Youngster, Blissey, Juck, Tropius. Ah, ah, not even an EX, not even a full or nothing. Slowing down really hard after those first two hits. But come on, going back to the Monkey Dory. Going back to Shroud of Fable. Next pack. Duskull, Beware, Inke, Drowsy, Stretcher, Hypno. All right, come on. Beware. Ah. Ah, another non-banger hit. Another non-pack non hit. All right, we come into, like, guess the, the, guess the half, the halfway mark. We're kind of speeding through these, but we haven't pulled a single hit since the first two packs. The luck has to turn around. Um, those two cards are pretty nice, but we got to get at least... Uh, something else better, a little bit better than that. Ryalu, Scovillian, Torkoal, Freeloom. Okay, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, not even a, not even a regular EX. Holy. All right, going back. Shroud of Fable. Though so if we do pull an SIR, hopefully it is from the new set. But I will say the Maridon or the or the Miriam is, are really nice. I wouldn't mind either of those. Blue Iron Moth, Evolto, Houndor, oh my goodness, okay, Evolto, Full Art, okay, just a regular Kingdra EX, nothing crazy there, Kingdra, regular EX, alright, well, at least we got a hit, but it's not one that we really want, alright, going back to base, let me know how have y'all been opening, or uh, how much have y'all liked opening Shadow Fable, Shadow Fable's been out for about two and a half, three weeks now, the ETB's literally just released, and, uh, yeah, I know ETBs are usually what people buy to open up packs and then booster bundles. Um, but booster bundles aren't getting released until, like, September 6th or something, so. But another non-hit pack. We are slowing down really hard. But now we're, now we're in officially in the halfway mark. I was way ahead of, ahead of time. We, so, we have four packs in each. That's halfway mark, pretty much. It, yeah, we're a little bit over halfway now. But Genesect... So, Sylveon. Alright, come on. Oh, no. Krogunk? Fullerts? Nah, nothing there. Alright, we are we slow down really hard. The next four packs on each side. Eight packs in total. We gotta get something. Come on. Scarlet and Violet base usually has a good amount of hits. Though they're not crazy hits. Um, it is early Scarlet and Violet, so it's a lot easier to pull just pulls. So hopefully we can get something on these next four packs. But Crocodile... Oh man, Pokeball, not even a full, not even EX, we are slowing down hard. Alright, going back, Shonda Fable. Alright. Yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think. Which set is better in general, not just because of this video, but in general. Base set is really nice, I do like it. Shonda Fable is pretty nice, I do like it. Um, but I, I have no idea. But Cassiopeia, ah, oh, that does a good sign. Another non-hit pack. Three packs left. Come on, three packs left on each side. Come on, we gotta get something. We are so, these next three packs for. I mean, both sets better have something. All right, hopefully we just saving all the the bangers for the end. All right, but baby, Toxel, Toxel sitting in the rain. Send the Conda. Oh, Katie. All right, come on. Oh my goodness, dude! I'm just I'm just waiting for it. It just never appears. Oh no, oh no. Alright, Shadow Fable, come on, come back. Come back, come back. Right now, Shadow Fable's winning. Surprisingly, I'm really surprised. There's more hits. More hits, and I mean, I guess it's kind of even, because it is it is an illustration we're on, on base set side, but you never know. You never know. Malmore. Okay, Dusclops. Oh my god, not even an illustration rare. Come on. Okay, we got another EX. Ah, oh, that that's not that good. River Room EX is regular EX. Terra. Nothing crazy. But I guess it, there is more hits on the other side, but they're not that good. Come on. Last two packs on each side. Give us something good. We make this a good video. I mean, honestly, I really don't care. I just want, I just want, I just want cards. <laughs> make, make this worth my money. Rock Helmet. Oh, I skipped cards. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is going so bad. I have not opened up an, a base that to be this bad. Ever. Shroud of Fable, we're doing pretty decent. Honestly, three hits is kind of average. So honestly, we might not even get anything else. Which is not good. 
because we only got two yeses and an A spec. Hopefully, we can get at least an illustration rare if we do pull something. Our last ETB, if you haven't seen on my video, we did pull a gold card, which is insane. But Crobat, all right, come on. Oh, oh man, no, this is so bad. All right, last two packs on each side. Let's go back to Sky and Violet base. Come on, you've never let me down, base. Random SAR. Random. Come on. Random SAR or gold card. I'll take either. <sighs> Shup it. Tender Mouse. Smaller. Give me an illustration or at least. Well, trio. Alright. Please don't tell me now. Oh. Oh my. That ETV was trash. That's how it is a Pokemon, you never know. Even though I've never had bad luck with base set, you never freaking know. I've opened up maybe like six ET, or I guess this is the sixth one. The other five, like three of those had an SAR. And the other two were, were just pretty decent with hits. That one was just terrible. But come on, Shroud of Fable, Last Pack Magic. It is a decent ETB for Shroud of Fable. It did have three hits. That's kind of normal, but they weren't three good hits. But they're hits nonetheless. Q-Fint, oh my goodness, this, that, I'm sorry, that was a, that, um, that was a terrible ETB battle, that's probably, like I said, three hits is kind of average for, uh, I guess, ETBs in general, but especially the newer sets in Scarlet and Violet, um, an a spec which is pretty nice, but two regular reacts, this doesn't really cut it, but it is three hits nonetheless, compared to just one illustration rule, which a lot of people do like a lot more than any of those cards in general, um, which, you know, me me included. Um, Squirrelvet isn't too crazy though, it's just a squirrel. It is a nice illustration rare, but nothing crazy. And only one hit in the ETB is honestly insane. Not even an EX, nothing is, is kind of crazy. Though I shouldn't complain, I got these ETBs for 20 bucks. Or at least this base set ones. So, hey, there it is. Um, but there's a video. Uh, I guess I'll end the video there. I got nothing else to say. Let me know which one you think won. I mean, I think it's kind of, it's, it is kind of hard to, to, to just pick one because, like I said, three hits is pretty good, but two of them are just regular reacts compared to an illustration rare. It's it's pretty hard. Um, but yeah, I'll end the video there. And um, yeah, what's my outro again? Goodbye.